Welcome back to my kitchen. Have you got someone who really likes sticky date pudding but has never actually made it because it's too hard or they don't know how? Yeah, that's me. That's Jack. That's me. We've got Jack today joining us in the kitchen and I'm going to show him how to make sticky date pudding. First things first, Jack, we need to take our one and a quarter cups of chopped dates mm -hmm. and one and a quarter cups of water Put them into a pan or a saucepan with a teaspoon of bicarb soda. So off you go. In go the dates. Bang that onto the heat. There we go. I need to bring that to a boil. And then once it's come to the boil, just turn it off and let it sit for about half an hour until it cools right down. Alrighty Jack, so now we're going to make our cake batter. So Jack's got um, 60 grams of butter and three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. As long as the butter says room temperature, it should come together quite easily. If you can, mm -hmm. throw in one egg. Even if it's just the yolk, that's fine. That'll do. So now throw the other egg in. Perfect. And then beat that. The mixture that we've had boiling away. That goes in next? It does. Okay. But we need to fork it. Give it a fork. Give it a fork. It so a fork. give it a grab a fork. Go with a fork. Just bust up all of those bits of um dates, the large bits in there. You can blend it if you want. I like the texture. I like a little bit of a date in my date, if you know what I mean. Okay. There you go. So you can blend the crap out of it or you can just fork it. So this just needs to sit for a while for it to just kind of turn into mush almost. Well, yeah, but also you don't want to put um, hot anything into yeah. a mixture with eggs. Because it will cook the eggs. Because it will cook the eggs. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I think that's good actually. Right. So throw the date mixture into your butter, sugar and eggs. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Cool. So just pop in your self-raising flour. Now we need to fold it. Okay, that's, that's where we yeah. fold it. So Jack found there was a few lumps of flour in the batter, so he decided to go against the theory and blast it with the, with yeah, the whipper. Yeah, most, most of that's now butter. Oops. Are you happy with that? Yeah. All right. So we've just sprayed a 20 centimetre cake pan. Yeah. Bang that in there. So the oven's been preheating on 170 degrees. So once you've got the cake batter into the pan, we're gonna cook it for about half an hour while we make the sauce. Perfect, so bang it in the oven. Yep. Righto, the sauce. Sauce. Okay, most so important bit. it is the most important bit. So we've got one cup of cream, one cup of uh, brown sugar, and 200 grams of butter. Mm -hmm. So that all goes into the pot, and we're going to stir that over a medium heat until everything comes together and it's going to form that caramel sauce. Okay? Cool. All right, off you go. Sweet. Our cake's been cooking for about 40 minutes. Took a little bit longer, I don't know why. But what we need to do now is ladle some sauce over the cake. So that should permeate through the cake and turn it into that sticky date texture that we like. I reckon one more.
Fantastic. So that's going to have to go back into the oven for a further 10 minutes and then it's done. Okay? Sure. We popped our cake back into the oven for a further 10 minutes and baked it with the sauce. We've let it go cold and uh, now Jack's going to taste it and see how everything turned out. See if it's like restaurant quality, Jack. So I'm saying. Beautiful. Tastes good. Tastes all right? Yeah. So. Alrighty, the proof is in the tasting. That's nice. Nice, all yeah. right. I like the texture of the dates. Is it a bit lumpy or is it okay? Well, there's enough texture in there. It's not like a, a dense chocolate cake. Where at least it's just all kind of one flavour. Awesome. So out of 10, what do you reckon? It's got to be a 10. You know I love Suggy Day. 10 out of 10? I mean, I'll go off and eat this <laughs> somewhere else. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> well, good job, Jack. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is our easy peasy sticky date pudding. Enjoy. We're going to take our one cup of self-raising flour mm -hmm. and just... No, we're not. No? No, we don't no. do that yet. No, <laughs> that's not now. That's not now. Do it it's got date stuff in it too. Oh. The saucepan. Oh yeah, we need an empty saucepan. Yeah. Oh, that's not bright, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could have changed A for B and that would have cleared everything up. Oh, jeez. That's not clever. Jeez Louise. Jeez. Oh, that's a fancy pot. That's, that's Tiziana's old pot. It's been around the river, that one. Is that the dog that's huffing? Yeah. Oh. 